We got other guys coming in. McCole Harmon is a good guy that's going, you know, just going to stick it there for us. Hopefully, Tony gets back here, gets some chances, right? Sky Moore looked pretty good, getting open, running some routes. Justin Watson, you know, he's going to be able to have a role here. Now, Justin Ross, right? We'll, we'll talk about him as well. Justin Ross does some things other guys just can't do. He goes up and catches the ball. And I heard somebody was saying, like, ah, well, he went against some scrubs. This guy was played at Ole Miss. He was a fifth round pick. And, you know, they talked about his ball skills. He was he was being draped up on. He went up there and went to go get it. Come on, man. Like, we, we can't act like he's going against chopped liver because he wasn't. So let's just be real with everything here, man, and just pump the brakes on a lot of different things. Yeah, I honestly, I'm still flabbergasted when I see people who are actively rooting against our guys, um, especially when it's our team and, like, we're, we're, like, people are, like, nitpicking and trying to dog Justin Ross's his cash that he had. And it's like, okay, the whole point is to showcase what you can do. Those guys are on an NFL field for a reason, and he's showcasing what he can do. I don't care who it's against. He did that same thing in a game last year against Minnesota against their deep their, their quarterback one. So like he he's shown he can do that not only against a guy who's a fifth round pick or you know one of their uh, reserve quarterbacks, but he's shown that against starring DBs. So like yeah. miss miss me with all that like oh he did it against scrubs. These guys are out there to showcase and to make a team and they're playing against other NFL teams. So like, yes, he's doing that against another guy's uh, potentially rotational uh, cornerback. And I don't know much about the guy who he did it against, but I, I don't really need to see who the player is doing against. I need to see what he's doing. And he's, and he's utilizing his talent and his skills to catch balls like that, which not, not any guy, nobody on our team can do that besides maybe Rasheed Rice. That's the only guy who can probably do what, what Ross did in that play there. Um, and he talk, and we talked about the improvement aspect. I've heard so many people say, oh, Ross can't get open. Uh, uh, Ross can't get off the line. Can't be pressed. Well, in that play, he did. And then also I've heard Ross, um, what was it? What, another comment I saw from one of the hater fans who just doesn't like Ross. It was, uh, oh, uh, Mahomes doesn't like throwing to Ross because Ross doesn't do a good job of uh, improvising. Well, we also saw on another play, and this is it's year-to-year improvements. And this is year two for him really playing in games and being in yeah. game format. And we saw him improvise in the one play where uh, Chris Olodekwon uh, escaped the pocket. Yes, it was a legal man downfield, so it didn't count. But we saw him reroute, adjust adjust his route, and go to the sideline for his quarterback to get it to him. And like that's what you want to see for a guy. You want to see improvement, and you want to see him do things that are going to help him be beneficial when it comes to playing with Patrick Mahomes. And I just, uh, I, I don't understand people just want to nitpick and just dog him. And it's like, I don't understand. I, I don't get it, to be quite honest with you. Well, he, look, he, he uncovered exactly how you're supposed to. Okay, in this offense, when I said that they run a lot of like uh, scramble drill, okay, you got to uncover to get open. He did it perfectly, wide open. The guy got the ball to him late. If they got it to him early, he would have caught the ball and ran up the sideline. He'd have been gone, uh, you know, and skated. So uh, with Pat in there, it's a whole different thing. So he was able to uncover. Him. So I and and go for KC forever, man. Good to see you up here. Uh, but I will say this, man. I disagree with you. Uh, he can run the route tree. I don't think there's any route that he can't run. Uh, if anything, I think he's learned that over these these years. So uh, that 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 is another promising thing. What he does well is what we need to go ahead and we need to exploit. Defense is on. The jump balls, okay, throwing it up to him. The back shoulder throws. Things he does well. So if if we have a, a guy that can do has a particular skill set, right? You want to make sure that you you put that on display, right? Not saying he can't do other things. Can he go in and slide and run something? Sure he could. Absolutely. Uh, I don't think it's going to be hard for anybody to be able to do it. As tight ends, we had to do it. Marcus, I, look, I used to line up on the outside to run a route. I used to you know, run a slant, run a curl, a comeback, run a go route. You could do all of that. Guys not understanding that. And this Justin Ross came out because they knew he could run the route tree. If you go back and look at an evaluation when he came out of college, there was nothing he couldn't do. The two things they were worried about Justin Ross, okay, was his medical. That was it. His medical was his biggest deal that everybody had to get over. Number two, they were just talking about his speed, and that had to do with his medical, getting his speed back up. But they said his game speed is a little bit different than it looks like when you run in the 40. Said the same thing about Jerry Rice, right? And I ain't putting Justin Ross and Jerry Rice on the same plane. But it does tell you that game speed and, 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 you know, running on a 40 is two different things. My thing is, 
if a guy catches the football, which he does very well, okay, he's a big body, goes up, going to get it. I would say these next two games, put him in there and see what he can do, right? Like throw everything at this guy during the preseason. That's the whole point of preseason, seeing what guys can actually do. So put him to the test. If he can't do it and he fails, then okay, then you move on from it, right? Or you move him down to, you know, the the the, the depth chart. But while you have him, come on, man, throw the ball to him. And and, and, and to say, uh, I've seen some uh, Ross hate in the chat. Um, one uh, one thing I, I this I, I made a comment on this on Saturday. I'm going to dispel this notion again. The notion that Ross has already been here doing this for two years is 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 a is a lie because this is his second year in training camp in preseason games. His first year, he had got correct corrective surgery on his foot after minicamp, and that was it. Yes, he had a highlight in that minicamp where he caught that one handed pass, but they did the corrective surgery on his foot, so he was shut down. Did not play in training camp. Didn't play yeah. all, all season. The following year, last year was his first year in preseason games. Uh, you know, doing what doctors said he couldn't do it was playing the NFL, and that's why he was an undrafted guy because of the medical, like JD just said. And mm-hmm. now it's year two of it. And yes, we saw flashes of, of Ross's uh, jump ball ability last year. We saw it in preseason. We saw it in regular season. Then it was hindered by the off the field stuff, which Chiefs didn't cut him. They could they could have very well cut him. They didn't. And why is that reason? They kept him on the squad. And this year he's doing what he's doing. And this is first game. He sh- he showed he's improved a lot, and I think he showed that. There, there could be some trust there with the, the team. And also, too, I want people to go back. In the games that Ross did play in the beginning of the season last year, look at the amount of snaps he had and look at the amount of targets that he had in those games. The guy was barely getting any snaps, but when he was on the field, you saw Mahomes go to him, and there's just, there is a level of trust there. The guy did sleep on his couch last year in uh, learning uh, the playbook. So, like, I don't – I want to dispel the notion right now that this has been going on for two years. This is the second year of Ross in training camp in a preseason. I mean, I get it, but it's, it's his third. Okay, I, I, I get you saying this is two years. Two years for actually being out there on the field, right? Uh, yeah, sure, sure. Uh, and and so I think that's what it is. You know, it, it, people lose patience with guys. Okay, it's the whole like get rid of Tony and get rid of Sky Moore. My thing is this: when I'm starting, to, I'm starting to look at the roster as far as wide receivers. Okay, uh, you start looking at skill set. Who's he better than? Can can people do what that he can do? I haven't seen anybody like that other than uh, uh, what's the name it R- Rasheed Rice go up and go get it. We threw a couple of by- back shoulder balls to him. Other than that, he's right on par with everybody else that's, that that everybody's talking about on the fifth, sixth, and seventh bubble. Okay, and the other guys, like you said, are redundant. So I, I think it just makes sense to have a guy like Justin Ross. Like I said, these next couple of weeks, like use him, utilize him. Okay. And throw every ball that you could possibly throw to him. You know, my, my thing, yeah, okay, so H S H nine nine one. I get it. I think that's where he has to do a better job. Okay. They put him at wing. I seen in practice um for on special teams. So he's gotta he's gotta do a much better job in special teams. But that's what Coach Reed was talking about with Carson Steele, too. Like some of these guys on the bubble, like the special teams is gonna be able to carry you over. So he has to be better, like with his feet. His feet didn't look that good on the wing because it was something that's new to him. Can he go outside and run gunner? That's something else you got to find out, you know, for a guy like him. But you are absolutely right. The reason they was able to get, you know, you utilize him uh, last year, Marcus, before he got, what's the name it, before, you know, they, they didn't, he got, you know, the whole debacle with what happened off the field. Uh, they wanted to use this guy. So when he came in, yeah, they threw the ball to him. Why? Because as Embry has said, as Andy Reid has said, as Nagy them do know, this guy has a he has a different skill set than everybody else. That's why they have the patience for a guy like this. They know what they got. So my thing is, it it, it doesn't it it wouldn't really matter these next couple of weeks to th- throw in as much as you possibly can with with the Justin Ross. My thing is, if he sinks or swim. So be it, whatever it is. But at least give the guy a chance so everybody can see. So now, at this moment, e- either one of us can shut their they mouth. So we can shut our mouth on him if they move on from him, or everybody else can go ahead and, and, and be patient and shut their mouths on him as well if he makes it, right? So 
That's how I feel about it, man. No, I'm in uh, agreement with you. And, and I know that a lot of people were big on the because people don't want to give credit to Ryan. People want to d- d- degrade Ross right? having a, a pass over a guy who might not make the team. Okay, well, I've heard a lot a lot of people talk about Nico Remedio being the next guy up, and Nico didn't do anything for me. I mean, talk about grades, pointing arrows up and down from based on the way they played last week. Ross got a major arrow going up as far as w- w- what they showed. Remigio yeah. either has a, a arrow going side to side or going down based on the way he played last week. And 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 that, this is a guy I've heard all offseason. Oh yeah, he's the guy. He's a, he's gonna be the next guy getting rotation reps on the on the offense. Eh, I don't know about that. Not what I saw on on Saturday. So who did they get rid of before? They get rid of Remigio or Ross? Remigio. Yeah. Oh oh, did they really? So you telling me they they got it wrong, Marcus? I, okay. I, I, tr- I trust Veach. <laughs> Obviously, I'm, you know, I'm, you know, being sarcastic and facetious on this, but I'm just saying, you can't have a bad game like that for a guy like Remigio. Okay, and I'm sorry that he did, uh, but you know, his kids got. He's you look, man. You got to take advantage of every situation and every possible thing. Ross did <laughs> the two balls thrown to him. He caught him right, and he made a play. So my thing is. Uh, Go for KC forever. I'm going to say this to you again. That's not the only thing he does is do jump balls. That's not the only thing. That's another element he gives to the game that he can do. And I think that's what any of those guys can see, right? And Patrick Mahomes can see too, is when a guy gets in a position that if I get stuck and I'm looking for a guy to get open, my thing is throw the ball up to a guy like Ross and let him let him go play, okay, on the 50-50. We don't have a guy like that here. Sorry, we just don't. I'm sorry. Yeah, we do. Rasheed Rice. But we needed to do it. We didn't really do it. Justin Ross can be that guy. So, yeah. all right. Enough on that. We had to, yeah. Oh, this- uh, I'm going to go. Uh, yeah, so you guys know how we feel about Ross and how we feel on his uh, his talent in the, in the receiver room. Hi, everybody. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out the best clips from Chief Concerns. And if you prefer to listen to the show, subscribe and follow us on Apple Podcasts. Spotify, and anywhere else you get your podcasts.